first met when he was on sabbatical at Stanford College or Stanford University, and he invited me down to have coffee with him and talk about what kind of project we might want to try to, to do together. And this was one of the ideas that came up early on, although we had a few others that we rejected, most of which I don't even remember anymore. But this was the one that had, seemed to have the most potential for uh, a strong visual output. The, the idea that we had going in was that we wanted to have a project that would be both artistically fruitful and interesting, but also mathematically fruitful as well, so that we're both doing real math, which is contemporary and will raise real mathematical questions uh, that can <coughs> potentially advance the field, uh, but also to create some artwork which is not merely illustrative or just a diagram explaining exactly what this object is. A mathematical object which has never been seen before. So the mathematics has clearly described the properties that it should have. Uh, however, no one has ever drawn it. And that's what this is. <laughs> and perhaps the reason why this has been is because it's a rather complicated object. Um, each point in the space corresponds to a tree, we call it, uh, which is a branching configuration with five leaves on the end of it, each of which has a number. And if you look at perhaps the, there's a photocopy of my notebook, and there's a few on some of those smaller uh, Mylar drawings, you can see what those trees look like. The full symmetry of this object, it exists most comfortably in four-dimensional space. So getting it onto a two-dimensional surface is, uh, is the challenge, but I think it's also the beauty of it. It's, say, look, we'll meet up next week and then uh, I would come in with a bunch of drawings and he would say, this is, why in the world did you draw this like this? <laughs> and then I'd be like, well, because of this, this, and this. And he'd be like, oh, wait a minute, that's crazy. Like, is this, uh, so specifically with those pieces on Milo over there, those were the first sketches that I did. And I separated it out based on the type of tree, which, Perhaps I can show it later, but there's within within all the different ways to enumerate the trees, there's different sorts of trees that have different categories of branching. And uh, if you separate out the different types of trees, you different patterns emerge from it. And to him, these patterns were totally it was totally unexpected that you would see these sorts of patterns emerge, which have similarities to other common mathematical patterns that he sees in his uh, field of mathematics. Others don't appear anywhere else really because the, the triangles aren't really visible in the other pieces, but each one of those colors refers to a different type of tree.